This is the Metronic Simplera CGM, Metronic's first ever all-in-one variable. And in today's video, I'll be unboxing it, applying it, and just talking you through the entire setup process of what's promising to be Metronic's biggest change to its CGM ever. Hey, it's Camille, Nerdabetic, your diabetes tech guy. I've been living with type 1 diabetes for over 12 years and over the last seven or so I've been YouTubing about diabetes tech. If you enjoy the club and follow along I would love for you to subscribe down below. Now there are actually two types of Simplera CGMs. So there's this one, regular Simplera. Simplera which works with the Simplera app which you can use as a standalone continuous glucose monitor without any integrations or you can use this Simplera with an in-pen connected smart pen. There's also a second type of Simplera called Simplera Sync which works with Medtronic's insulin pumps in hybrid closed loop. Uh, Omnipod and Dexcom G7 on here so I'm going to apply it on that one. So quite simply uh, with the Simplera we're just going to rotate and you can see the Simplera you put it on three two one and there we go now you observe the um, rather interesting adhesive they've done with the Simplera with the um, grid pattern um, which is very interesting and then we've got it right I've got the app so I'm gonna press um, next I'm gonna say that I've inserted the inserter um, location approved for the upper arm which I've done look at me um, and then you enter the sensor code from the back there we go we've got it I'm going to just put so that's 993277 now on a Dexcom um, G7 you don't actually physically need to type it in you can just scan the QR code on the sensor to do that here you have to type it in which is not ideal um, and the sensor is paired it, now it's a seven day CGM which is actually much shorter than what other CGM so Dexcoms at 10 days and Libre's are obviously 14 or 15 days. This is still a seven day CGM um, and it has a two hour warmer period which again when you have G7s today at 30 minutes and Libre at an hour, two hours still feels a bit old fashioned and there is the waiting for warm up. I just wanted to show you the Simplera applicator with the latest Libre 3 and Dexcom G7. They all look kind of similar as you can probably tell. Now I think this is good because if you are currently using one of these, if you're using a Libre, like the barrier to switch is a lot lower because the process is vaguely similar like you know if you can do one you can certainly do the other so I think that's good and also for doctors you know some doctors really don't have a lot of time to be trained on technology so if training someone up on one CGM is very similar to another I think that actually reduces a lot of barriers and means doctors can um, be more comfortable working with a wider range of wearables now, on the surface, the app looks very simple, very basic. It does feel like it was built using kind of older design language. It, it doesn't quite feel optimized for the larger phone sizes, to be perfectly honest. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's been a really long time since I've seen that much space at the bottom of a screen on my phone and on the top. If you just compare that to how low um, Dexcom's function row is. It, it does feel like it was probably built for the slightly smaller iPhones, like, I don't know, maybe iPhone 11 or something. On a 15 Pro Max, it does feel strange. It's just something I immediately noticed. I have also downloaded the companion Simplera Apple Watch app. So yes, with the Simplera standalone, 
you can display your glucose values on your Apple Watch um, just like you've been able to with uh, Dexcom. So it's, it's great to have that available with four different complications for different watch faces for your Apple Watch. I would probably say 90% of people watching this video who are going to be using this in Polaris CGM, you're going to be using it with the Medtronic in, uh, in pen, smart pen, or most probably Medtronic's uh, connected pump 780G. Now, this is a huge deal, um, not having the sensor transmitter system for Medtronic users, I mean, I'm sure you guys have been dying to get what we would consider modern all-in-one wearable technology. So it's so good to finally have it. Um, I have to say, it feels really nice. Like the actual, the, the curved edges of the actual wearable, you can really tell they're making a, a, quite a big difference. This actually feels really satisfying when you do that. It's difficult to explain, but it's really satisfying to touch. Now this is my second Simplera, and in both um, times I've applied it, um, I've had a bleeder, which actually is quite rare. So it just means blood is coming out of the uh, central fiber insertion point. So if you have any questions about Simplera, I will answer them down below in the comments. I will try to incorporate as many of your questions in my review, which I'm going to do after I finish wearing this sensor. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.